Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to copy an MER runtime file from your memory device into your PanelView Plus. Now, the first thing you need to do is copy your MER file from your computer to your memory device. It could be a compact flash if you're using older PanelView Pluses or an SD card if you're using newer PanelView Plus 6s and 7s. Uh, you can also use many different types of USB memory sticks or flash drives. Not all of them work, but many do. So you'll have to do a little trial and error there to see if yours is supported. With that said, you also have to make sure that MER runtime file is in a very specific folder. It can't just be in the root directory. It needs to be in Rockwell Software backslash RSVME backslash runtime. Now, if you put your memory device into your PanelView Plus and you browse it and that folder doesn't exist, it creates it for you. So that's one little trick. If you don't want to actually manually create it, you can just have it create it for you. But in any case, you can create that directory manually and your MER file has to be there because that's the only place the PanelView Plus will look for it. Now, once you have it there, put it into your PanelView Plus and then on your PanelView Plus, get to the configuration menu. If you don't know how to do this, we have a previous video in this series that talks about how to get to the configuration menu. Once there, the first thing you want to do is select terminal settings. And then from there, you want to go to file management and select enter. Then select copy files and enter. Then select copy applications and enter. Then here, you'll see options for the source, the source of where we're going to copy this file from. And we can choose external storage one, if we have a compatible memory card in our unit, or external storage two, if we have a compatible USB memory stick plugged into our unit. Now, that said, if you've plugged it in and it's still grayed out here, then that means your device, your memory device is not compatible with your particular panel view plus. Um, they'll typically come up within a couple of seconds. So here you can see I have both a memory card and a USB stick plugged into my unit. They're both compatible. That's why external storage one and two, neither of them are grayed out. They're both in black. So I'm going to go ahead and select external storage one as a source of where I want to copy my runtime from. And then I will select the application or the runtime that I want to copy. And then I'm going to select destination. And here, I'm going to choose internal storage as the destination of where I want to copy that file to, because I want to get it from the memory card to the memory inside my PanelView Plus. And then I'm going to select copy. Now, depending on how old your PanelView Plus is and how big your MER file is and what type of memory device you have, this can take anywhere from like two seconds to like two minutes. So just be a little patient and uh, let it do its thing. Grab a cup of coffee, grab me one too while you're out there. And with that said, if the file already exists inside your PanelView Plus, you're going to be prompted as to whether or not you want to overwrite it. And that's your call. Um, typically, I don't like to overwrite any type of file unless I have a backup of it. And once you make that decision and the copy process is complete, you will return to the copy applications uh, screen. And from here, you can click on cancel and then close three times to get back to the PanelView Plus configuration menu. And now I have a question for you. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, please let me know by liking the video. And if you'd like to see me produce more free videos like this on YouTube, then please let me know in the comments. In fact, if you'd like to help me reach my goal of making all of my videos ad free, then please visit me over at patreon.com forward slash automation for as little as $1 a month. You can help me towards reaching my goal to make all of my videos in the automation blog completely ad-free. And with that said, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.